In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get a streaming PC for $150. That's right. You only need a $150 PC that you get from eBay for $150 to stream your content. And this is a Dell 790. I bought this on eBay for $150. I had eight get an extra 8 gigs of RAM laying around, so I threw that in. And then it comes with a standard Dell 265-watt power supply got too much light so it might not focus in properly but I pulled that out as I will show you later why I did that but you could still stream with the standard 265 watt power supply it's just fine but I'm upgrading mine but for $150 this will run Streamlabs OBS and standard OBS perfectly no drops so you basically you just plug your capture card in like if you have a USB style capture card like I do I have an HDML Evolve and it plugs in through the USB port on the back and all my HDMI cables plug into the box it's just basically an external box and then you got the other kind the internal capture cards they run just fine with the standard power supply now, I don't have an internal capture card to put in this, but uh, mine is external, made by Cloner Alliance. So, what I'm doing here is I have upgraded to a 500 watt power supply. I've put in extra 8 gig of RAM, so I have 16 gigs of RAM. There's no reason why I did the extra RAM. It's not necessary, but I wanted to, just because. I had it laying around, it was collecting dust, I threw it in. And, I've got the quad-core i5, and... 2500 series, I do believe it is. Could be a 2400 series. I'll have to run the spec test again. And then, of course, you can see everything plugs in just fine on the power, on our little CPU board connector, and my twin drives. Now, the reason why I upgraded the power supply is because I'm putting in an NVIDIA Quadro FX 3800 series graphics card. Now, this by no means will help you gain better graphics in gaming or anything like that. This is more for like, you know, making videos or doing CAD CAM type stuff. So this is actually right up the alley of what I want to use it for. And that is encoding video. But it won't encode video on the in new Invex system. This is more like the older standard style of video encoding. But it's still relevant today. We've already got the side off of the Dell. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the blue tab here and that releases our little locking mechanism here and since this is a PCI Express since our brake tab is up at the front and you can tell it's PCI Express about the way your tab is here on the rear that denotes that it's PCI Express because AGP is a lot different and very standard PCI looks a lot different too but that, that's PCI Express that's that's the big boy there and I know this video card works uh, because I've had this for a while uh, I've had it for about a year now but altogether you could say that this would be a two hundred two hundred dollar streaming PC because the video card I bought this for 50 bucks on eBay last year works wonders yeah it does have the display port connectors but I'm, I'm okay with that and the power supply, I think I got that on a flash sale for like 15 bucks. And then there is the RAM. You can get that dirt cheap too. So basically, you can upgrade your $150 streaming PC into a $200 streaming PC. And the reason why I upgraded the power supply is not only is this a workhorse video card, but it also has a 6-pin power on the back. So I needed a video a power supply that had a little bit more oomph to it. So let's go ahead and try and install this video card here without breaking anything Ugh. and the funny thing is is there's actually people on Amazon and they're out there on eBay trying to sell this video card for 200 300 dollars granted the video card was fifteen hundred dollars brand new minimum but you can get them for $30 easily. If you're going to spend $100 on a graphics card like this, easily go, well, you could get two of these and 
link them together, or you could get one of the brand new graphics cards, like it's called the NVIDIA XTS P400. And it's got twice as many CUDA cores as the NVIDIA 3800 has. But, I mean, I only paid... Well, now you can get these for 30 bucks. I paid 50 maybe $52 for mine. I don't remember the exact price. I tried to look it up, and um, I must have bought it somewhere where it did not keep my records because I could not find it. Okay, so we're going to plug in our PCIe power cable. And... I'm going to plug in this one here, so that way this little guy kicks back. Because if I plug that in, then I just got more just kind of serpentining around inside the box. So I'm just going to kind of loop her around like this. Oh, whoops, that really got looped around. There we go. Turn it upside down and inside out. And let's go ahead and get that plugged in. Wow. These extra long video cards, sometimes it could be a, a snake hassle. Wow. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do it the way I wanted to because I am coming up with just an inch between the hard drive bay and the video card. So I'm going to have to use the other video plug because it's got two eight-port video plugs on it. You just have to kick the other two ports on there. There we go. Is it, there's a... Let me slide this over here. There's another two ports just in case you have an or eight port video card on the power. And then there's an extra two. Now my I do know of one video card that would actually use both of those. And that's my old 460. I think it was a six yeah. It's my old NVIDIA GeForce 460. That was a beast. And here's my old 460. I've had this for a while. I bought this brand new. This cost me a pretty penny back in the day. See, twin six-port power plugs. And this thing, it actually used them. It was, oh, it was, it was masterful. Okay, there we go. Make sure we got our power cords down so the back, well, the side of the case goes back on easily. But... I'm not going to show you a power-up because I am in my workshop in the basement, unfortunately. So, here we go. Oh, I made a boo-boo. I forgot to lock this in. Never do that. There we go. Then put the side back on. There we go. But I can power this up and slide this around. I gotta spin it around because my power cord is too short. She's powering up already. No beep tones. It accepted the video card. All right, that is good. Now all I have to do is download the drivers, install them into Windows, and I'm good to go.